about time some of us speak out. Although, some people think we speak out all the time. Not mentioning any names, but supposedly, we talk all the time. We just run around and just talk trash, right? That's all we do. You know, why do we have to stay quiet? Why, well, you know? Technically, I don't know what we did, but we her Patreon. That's all we did. But now we're just bottom feeders and traders. We're bottom feeders and traders and e beggars. Get on the tubes and say how we feel. But she can sit on the tubes and trash us from Kingdom Come when really, I would love to know what the hell we did. Because I know all of us can list like 10 things she did to us. But could she really break down what the hell we did to her? Could she? No. Because we never did anything to her. Not once. But you know what she would do? I know what she would do. She would go live and say, we, we talk about the chats, we let out private things, blah, blah, blah. That's past tense. You know, and I mean, this is after we left. What did we do while we were there to you? That's my question. Not after the fact. Because you drew that card. You made us have to talk about things that we didn't want to talk about. You made that. Serendipity didn't throw first blood. Tawanda didn't throw first blood. Tracy didn't th throw first blood. Even though in your brain you think we threw first blood, eh, we didn't. Do I agree with everything Diane and Wendy do? No. You know, but they're not out here manipulating people and telling lies about people. They're not the ones breaking into people's Discord to get dirt. They're not the ones looking people up just because. I cracked up last night, uh, Ash, actually, because I was in those chats when that all broke down. You know, they want to say, we look them up because they threaten. Ash never threatened Laura. Did she talk shit to Laura? I guess it wouldn't even be shit. Did she speak the truth about Laura? Yes. Did it upset Laura? Yes. But Laura wanted all the deets on Ash. It wasn't just her ex-husband. Uh, I mean, it was... She, she... Why do you need a picture of her Mustang with a license plate on it? What do you need that for? That's what I don't understand. Because... Did she look up to get your address for safety reasons? No. Like they were, she was trying to say, oh, I did it for safety reasons because Ash, well, what part of the pictures that you showed in those chats and the people you looked up have to do with safety? What does Ash's friends have to do with safety? What, what does Ash's uh, ass end of her car with a license plate have to do with with your safety you know her at a function with her friends what does that have to do with safety but yet you took all those pictures and then let's talk about um stephanie brown when did stephanie brown ever threaten you but yet you put all of her police record and her mugshot in the secret chat like that's the thing like they, she claims that she did it for safety reasons because people threatened her. I never remember Ash or Stephanie Brown. Um, I mean, she even looks up her own Patreons, and they don't even know it. They think that, you know, she's got their safety at heart, but she used to put their shit in our ch private chats, too. And don't say you didn't, don't say you didn't, because I can show that you have. Not that I want to, but I can, so don't say that you've never put pa your Patreon's pictures or their real name or their info in your secret chats.
Because, yes, you have. But I remember that time where somebody sent Diane an email, like a, a picture of Laura putting an email in the secret chat. And Diane was like, why would you do that, Laura? I wrote you privately, blah, blah, blah. And, and Laura was like, oh, that was a year old. That was a year old. And Diane was like, it doesn't matter if it was a year old. I messaged you privately. That is not the only email that's in there from Diane. I don't know why somebody, and whoever gave it to Diane was trying to prove that she does it. But I've only been gone maybe... I'm pretty close to probably two months now, maybe a month and a half. And I can go as recent as right before I left that she was putting emails from Diane in her secret chat. Just like uh, Pepper. Look at that time that she freaked out on her live and said, I want info on Pepper, blah, blah, blah. Next thing you know, she goes live the next day. Accidentally, let's you know, accidentally screen shares, and she's got everything from Pepper. And what did Pepper do? Tell her the truth. But let me guess, that's a threat, right? Because the truth is a threat to Laura. I am grateful. That is the, one of the best things about the Patreon. I have to say, was the amazing women. You know, even though I lost them because I chose to leave Patreon and they chose to stay. And that's the other thing that bothers me is because they, they, I know that they feel like they can't talk to me now. Not that I did anything to them because I never did. But now they can't talk to me because if they got caught talking to me, they would be put on Laura's radar of, leaking information or being a mole and then she treats you like crap so they don't want to risk it so they just stopped talking to me all in general because they they don't want to have laura's wrath and that it's i mean last night i noticed that hummingbird was talking to you guys in in the chat i can put money money on it that Laura private messaged in Discord, in my chat, whatever, asking Hummingbird why the hell she was talking to you guys. Even though it was an innocent conversation, I can I bet you ten dollars Laura was like, What are you talking to them for? Because that's how it is. She says she's not like that, but we can show time and time and time and time again. That is exactly what she does. And it's really sad that Grown women can't talk to other people um, that were friends with them all because Laura will look at them shady. And Laura will, you know, pin the rest of the Patreons against them. Because I've seen that, too, where, you know, people are just, you know, done with the drama and just want to, you know, coexist with everybody. And if you get caught coexisting, she'll make it so everybody turns on you. 